Hey ladies, welcome back to part two of Styling with Color. So, got these cool cards from Jen today, and basically they're color swatches for all of the different colors. Soft, warm, and deep. You have bright, cool, and deep. So you can see what colors look good on you and whether you're a soft or a bright, um, whether you're a cool or a warm. Uh, so they really come in handy. If you guys haven't already taken the free color analysis quiz on her website, um, just click it in my description below. And then you do have the option if you would like to order these and hold them up in front of your face in a mirror to see what colors you are. So very, very, very helpful, especially when it comes to shopping. So definitely check it out. wanted to pull out a couple of my favorite colorful pieces and show you guys. Okay, so you guys have seen this dress. Um, of course, you know, I thrifted this in my Come Thrift With Me at the Walmart of thrift stores. I just got it back from the dry cleaners and I'm really excited to start wearing it in my everyday life. <laughs> so here's a blouse that I have had for so many years. Oh my gosh, I thrifted this little baby. Uh, this is a Carol Little. And everyone talks about Carol Little. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, so this this little Carol Little blouse, it is so bright and colorful and fun. And I love the crazy pattern and colors all over it. So here's another one of my favorite dresses. This guy I got from a thrift store. And it sat in my closet for a really long time because it didn't fit me totally correctly. Um, it had a much longer torso. I'm really picky about where the waist hits me. So the waist was just hitting too low and I knew I needed to do some alterations and take it up. So I finally got around to it and I shortened the top. And so now it fits me perfectly. I actually featured this dress in my Valentine's Day lookbook. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It's got some fun date outfits for Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is a fun piece. Um, this is actually my grandmother's blazer, and um, I decided to start an embroidery project on it, and I kind of didn't get super far with everything that I wanted to do on it. I wanted it to be much more full of embroidery, but yeah, so this is a really fun piece. Um, I just don't get around to wearing it too often because, like I said, the color is kind of like a pinky salmon color and I don't really wear that color a, a whole lot. <laughs> so here's another one of my favorite pieces. I actually got this um, on Etsy. It is a beautiful made in Mexico vintage suede jacket and I absolutely adore this coat. It is such a statement piece though so I don't wear it all the time but I always have so much fun when I get to pull it out. All right, y'all know my red sweater from Madewell that I got um, during the Christmas sales and I wear this thing all the time. I love the balloon sleeve at the bottom and just the bright poppy red color. Okay, so this dress is by Maggie London and this is a 100% silk vintage dress. It's one of my absolute favorites. It has buttons that go all the way down. I did actually wear this in one of my styling vintage uh, videos. I just love the color. I think it's so beautiful and vibrant. So much fun to just wear this dress alone and I don't have to worry about putting an outfit together, right? Because it's just a statement as it is. Okay, the last one that I want to talk about is this um, quilted jacket. This quilted jacket is so much fun. I got this at a flea market and I think I paid five bucks for it. It wasn't too expensive and there was a navy blue version there too and I was trying to be frugal so I was like okay I'm only gonna get the red one even though I wanted to get both and um, I kind of regret it now. I wish I would have gotten the blue one too but um, this jacket's just such a funky crazy standout piece and it's actually really warm because it's quilted and yeah I love it. So one of my other favorite pieces is this vintage kimono that I got from the flea market in Alameda in one of my thrift with me videos. 
I absolutely adore the fabric. Gosh, their textiles are amazing. I got this skirt when I went thrifting at the Goodwill outlets in Sacramento and it's such a beautiful skirt. It was a bit big in the waist. Um, so what I did is I took it in a little bit and I added some elastic because the elastic that was in it was completely stretched out. I just adore this fabric. It's silky and just so stunningly beautiful and such a statement piece. So this one's a ton of fun. So my own personal fashion journey started probably in high school when I transitioned to wearing all black clothing and everything, you know, punk rock that you could imagine. That's when my thrifting kick got started. But, you know, I went from the all black and then I kind of transitioned to not having any black in my wardrobe. And now I feel like I have swung back to the other side where I have a combo of both. I pulled out all of my colorful clothes and we are going to have fun playing with them, experimenting with different color combos. So stay tuned. Thank you.
ladies, thank you so much for watching my color video part two. I feel like there was going to be more color videos in the future, just not sure yet. But if you did enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your feedback. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. And never forget that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye!